I don't remember a lot. There's a lot that is blank, and I wish it wasn't blank, but. It was an absolutely gorgeous day. You know, it was in the 50s. It was clear skies. This is not an athletic event. This is a mass casualty incident with an athletic component. We woke up and had to be there at 7 a.m. actually, so the day started about 5.30. I was standing under the timing bridge, which is the media bridge where all the cameras are. And all of a sudden I heard this loud explosion and I looked up and just saw this cloud of, of smoke. It smelled like fireworks. It sounds like a large ROTC cannon. And of course, with those streets, it just rattles. It's just kind of a bone jarring. Everything kind of shakes. And you start hearing screaming. And about that time, a couple of seconds later, the next one goes off. At that point in time, we knew this is a deliberate act. I had to make a decision, and it was to run. Which way? Do I run away from this, or do I run towards it? I ran as fast as I could, grabbed as many supplies as I could, and we ran back up there, and that time we started to stabilize patients and do what we could to help the victims. You're making a, a very rapid decision on whether potentially someone lives or dies. It's hard to conceptualize that other than I'm going to the first person. I just remember watching them load three, four people in an ambulance. I didn't know the ambulances could hold that many people. You know, I don't recall a lot that day, um, just because everything is just kind of a process. I'll hear a, un, uh, it's a very distinct sound that is unsettling. You know, it may be the trash can, a big dumpster, and it hits. Time heals all wounds, both mentally and physically. When we got back from Boston, we decided to come up with Tiger Hearts. Tiger Hearts is a program that takes our student athletes through hands-only CPR. It's hard to fathom how much, how much positive comes out of one event like this. We wanted to take something that was so negative and such a negative and tragic experience and pull the positives from it. Take those positives and make something good with it.